Compassion is the basis of morality. Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, it is accepted as self-evident. Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. Happiness consists in frequent repetition of pleasure. Every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. Compassion for animals is intimately associated with goodness of character, and it may be confidently asserted that he who is cruel to animals cannot be a good man. The person who writes for fools is always sure of a large audience. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. One should use common words to say uncommon things. We forfeit three-fourths of ourselves in order to be like other people. A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man. Treat a work of art like a prince, let it speak to you first. Thus, the task is not so much to see what no one yet has seen, but to think what nobody yet has thought about that which everybody sees. Great men are like eagles, and build their nest on some lofty solitude. Religion is the masterpiece of the art of animal training, for it trains people as to how they shall think. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. Life is a constant process of dying. Hope is the confusion of the desire for a thing with its probability. No rose without a thorn but many a thorn without a rose. Every parting gives a foretaste of death. Every reunion a hint of the resurrection. The world is my idea. The shortness of life, so often lamented, may be the best thing about it. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people.
There is no more mistaken path to happiness than worldliness. Wealth is like seawater, the more we drink, the thirstier we become, and the same is true of fame. If we were not all so interested in ourselves, life would be so uninteresting that none of us would be able to endure it. Life swings like a pendulum backward and forward between pain and boredom. To feel envy is human, to savor schadenfreude is devilish. Faith is like love, it does not let itself be forced. The business of the novelist is not to relate great events, but to make small ones interesting. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. Music is the melody whose text is the world. Reading is thinking with someone else's head instead of one's own. We seldom think of what we have, but always of what we lack. There are very few who can think, but every man wants to have an opinion and what remains but to take it ready-made from others, instead of forming opinions for himself. If we suspect that a man is lying, we should pretend to believe him, for then he becomes bold and assured, lies more vigorously, and is unmasked. Ordinary people merely think how they shall spend their time, a man of talent tries to use it. What a man is contributes much more to his happiness than what he has or how he is regarded by others. Life is full of troubles and vexations, that one must either rise above it by means of corrected thoughts, or leave it. Whatever torch we kindle, and whatever space it may illuminate, our horizon will always remain encircled by the depth of night. Life is short and truth works far and lives long, let us speak the truth. Everyone takes the limits of his own vision for the limits of the world. No one writes anything worth writing unless he writes entirely for the sake of his subject. Each day is a little life. 